I know what you're thinking. If the planet is warming, shouldn't we be seeing less snow and therefore less snowstorms? Well, turns out we are seeing less snow on average, but our snowstorms are supercharged. How does that work? Hang on for this science ride. So first of all, we are getting less snow overall, but a warmer atmosphere can hold more moisture. It's one of the reasons why our rainstorms are becoming more intense with climate change. Also, more snow falls when temperatures are just below the freezing mark rather than when it's extremely cold. So areas of the world that are cold enough to get snow are warming to a temperature that they're actually seeing snowfall events coming down with more precipitation. Warmer oceans are also a factor. Warmer waters off the coast of Atlantic Canada are actually providing more energy for the temperature difference that actually drives those nor'easter storms in wintertime. Also this, as the Arctic warms much faster than the rest of the world, new research is finding a connection to a weakened polar vortex. The band of strong winds that forms above the Arctic every winter is what encloses a large pool of extremely cold air. It's the temperature difference between this cold air and the air of the mid latitudes that drives the speed of this circulation. It's basically a fence that keeps the coldest air up there. But as this Arctic warms and gets closer in temperature to those mid latitudes, the polar vortex gets weaker and meanders more, stretching down to the south. More research is needed to make this connection a definitive one, but that meandering air is being cited as an explanation for recent freezing temperatures in snow in places like Texas. Global climate models actually project an increase in the extreme snowfall events across most of North America, but in other parts of the world, like Western Europe, they project an increase in winter rain rather than snow.